Which came first, the Nag Hammadi scriptures, the Gnostic texts, or the New Testament scriptures that most people have access to now? I get asked that question often. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me this quick edition of Leak Project. I can't answer that definitively. What I can tell you is, it's most likely the Gnostic texts. And to confirm that, I have a copy of the Magic of Obelisks. This is by Peter Tompkins. You can pick up a used copy, I'm sure, at least the hardcover version. And, hello, I've got a copy. And it's funny because oftentimes, as I tell you guys, I will just pick up one of my books and I'll open up a specific page and it'll sync to something that I was researching earlier, even literally just the previous podcast or two or three podcasts ago. Check it out. I open up page 56 and sure enough, it's talking about the Gnostics. And it's talking about the, the feud of the Gnostics and the Christians and the Vatican and specific Vatican-controlled organizations and institutions that want nothing to do with the Gnostic texts. So check this out real quick. This is on page 56, The Magic of Obelisks. At the end of World War II, in the cave-riddled mountains in Upper Egypt, a discovery was made which threw light on the beliefs of the, of the early Christian Gnostics. Most of what have been known about them are from the Catholic <laughs> detractors who considered them heretics. Now, in a cave, people were hiding in the course of a blood feud. Two Arabs, who had just murdered a rival, dismembered his body, and eaten his heart, came upon a red earthen jar about a meter high. Inside were 13 papyrus books bound in leather. Several were used to make fires, but in what remained? Man, why did they have to make fires of that? But anyway, several were used to make fires, but in the ones that were remained, scholars were to decipher 52 texts in Coptic dating to the early Christian era. They contained previously unknown gospels, such as that of the Gospel of Thomas, Philip, and of the Egyptians' esoteric meaning and religion, and ritually massacred... Oh, wait, sorry. That's a different part of the book, so... <laughs> My bad. So, these they found these Gospels, you know, the Gospel of Philip, the Gospel of Thomas, and of the Egyptians, evidently translations made about 400 A.D. of more ancient... Greek manuscripts. So yes, they were about 400 AD dating, but they are transcripts of ones that are much older, possibly earlier than the can the canon gospels attributed to Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. The content of the gospels condemned by Orthodox Catholics sometime after Constantine ranged from descriptions of the origin of the universe to myths, magic, and instruction in mystical practice. So one of the reasons they condemn these Gospels, according to Elaine Pagels in her book that title From the Apocalypse of Peter, she quotes the risen Christ as explaining to Peter that those who name themselves bishop and deacon, like they receive authority from God, are in reality waterless canals, and do not understand mystery. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's very interesting. So definitely pick up a copy of The Magic of Obelisks. And I just find it fascinating, these scriptures, because if these became available when the church was doing its best to suppress this information for their own hegemony, you know, the, and I think of even later the witch hunts, Imagine the six corporations, printing presses, businesses that had the keys to the safe that held all the money, all the power of this authorized version of the Bible. The authorized version of the King James Bible. (laughs) What makes it King James Bible anyway? What gives him the right? Shouldn't it be the universal Bible? Of truth? Wouldn't that be a much better name than the actual authority of King James? 
you now have the right to read about what God is, according to these translators of these six institutions. Somebody said I was a liar earlier that these institutions didn't exist in the, <laughs> in the 1600s. You're making it up, man. Okay. Cambridge University's making it up, too. Yes. Absolutely. Everybody's making it up. Yep. Swamp Gas from Uranus. Hello, Timeshare. Thank you for this quick update. Being here with me, be the change you want to see. LeakProject.com.